another in the making. Please welcome Nikki Reed and Paul McDonald, everybody. <laughs> Got to start off with Breaking Dawn Part 2. Congratulations. <laughs> the movie is doing Oprah numbers. It's tremendous <laughs> right now. Uh, now, did you and any of the cast members sneak into the movie theater to, to watch it? That's on on the agenda. I mean, we haven't. I actually haven't seen the movie yet. What? I know. Wait, listen to me. Here's oh, my. <laughs> I haven't seen it either. No. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's not my fault. Okay. We were recording our album actually while they were doing all the cast screenings, and then I couldn't uh, make it into the premiere because I was outside doing press, and, and I was with the fans, and I promised the fans this year that I would spend extra time with them, so I didn't make it into the movies. I haven't seen it. Oh my god. So is that going to wrap into the Thanksgiving plans? Maybe, maybe after the turkey, you two get the family together and go? Yes. All right, cool. If not, we'll buy, can we buy some tickets? We'll go right after. Yeah, we'll go right after we leave. Of course. Now, speaking of music, you guys are on the soundtrack. What, what's it like collaborating with each other? I think it's great. You know, I've, I've been touring for years and years, and it's such a great thing to have someone that you care so much about, uh, you know, creating and working with, you know, it's great. Were you, you were you able to keep your hands off her in the in recording booth? Or just <laughs> did anything happen? I'll let you know about that. Let's take a quick look at the video, guys. Leave it your own. Leave it your own. Leave it your own. Well, your wife has a beautiful voice. How do you think she would have done on American Idol? Oh, she would have won. Yeah, yeah, she definitely would have won. She, she would have won. Yeah. 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 Absolutely not. American Idol is like a whole other other world that you know he he's made for that. Me, not so yeah. much. I'm just sort of trying to do the best I can with what we do. Well, now the, the song is amazing, and you've also collaborated on a new album which was just released. Uh, what's it like combining love and and work as well? Like, do you guys get on each other's nerves when you're in the studio? I'll let you answer that. What do you think? I don't know. I think, I mean, not really. You know, we have moments of frustration, I guess, but for the most part, I feel like, I don't know. We don't really fight. It's hard to fight with Paul. <laughs> he doesn't fight with anyone. I'm very chill, yeah, yeah. I'm actually really amazed at how well we do together 24 hours a day. <laughs> I, I see what you guys can't. You, you're holding me <laughs> in your journey. We know you're together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really far apart right now. It feels yeah. weird. Now, earlier today, we asked our Twitter followers to send in their questions for you guys. So, Danielle has one for Nikki. If you could play or be anyone else in the Twilight Saga, who would you be and why? Ooh, um, you know, I always really liked Victoria, and I guess I'm kind of drawn to darker characters, and uh, so I would, I guess I would, I would choose Victoria. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, and Natalie wants to know, what was your first date like, and what did you do, Paul? I want to hear from your point of view. What was it like? Uh, let's see. Our first date was that was probably while I was still on uh, American Idol. Uh, I had a curfew, by the way. I, I wasn't legally allowed to drive. I was in a house full of kids, you know. And uh, and she would have to come by the mansion and pick me up and take me mm -hmm. out and get me home before 10 p.m. the next day. Oh, my yeah. God. Give me some gas money or anything? Or I don't even think I get. I don't even think they gave. They didn't give us any money. To, I had no money to give her gas money. You know? so. It was uh, it was pretty bizarre. I mean, I was totally like the the man in the situation. I was, it was like pretty, uh, picking him up, and he wasn't allowed to. I had to literally drive us to dinner and then get him home safe. It was kind of ridiculous. I but. love it. Well, Christmas is around the corner. Now you're making a lot of money. Make sure you get her a gas card to make up for the loss. Uh -huh. uh, for Thank you, Paul. We appreciate you guys for coming by. Breaking Dawn Part Two is in theaters right now. You can get the soundtrack and their album the best part on iTunes thank you guys so much thank you very yeah, much we'll be right back thanks guys coming up Jessica Beals